She's with us. Let her pass. Outlander, Chief Akaro and Marshal Catalo await you within. The cool route should be starting soon. Once it's done, I'll be able to access the chamber below Hikaro's throne. And Ether. Outlander, the chief awaits you in the arena, past the throne. Speak to the chief when you're ready. This must lead to the arena. It's another part of the ruins, turned into a fighting ring. Aloy, it seems you've had to move mountains to bring the Sky Clan to heal. Literally. Catalo helped. Yes. Takote reprimanded for all the clan to see. You both served well. But now the cool route is at hand. Some have come to compete, others to bear witness. They know Regala will come for me. I'll do whatever it takes to hold up my end, as long as you remember yours. So what's the plan? Catalo. There are only two viable ways to attack the arena. Through the throne room you just passed, and by the trail on the north end. We've set up barricades at both. But if Regala means to assault the cool route with machines, she will have to attack by the trail. You will join our defenders there. Hold the line, and I'll have my marshals. You will be free of my service and receive your reward. Make whatever preparations you must. Once the cool route begins, you must see it through. The grove, the arena, it's all part of the same ancient structure? Yes. Here the land remembers the sacrifice of the Ten. Their deeds commemorated for eternity. Sacrifice? The visions tell us that on the ground below, they gave their lives in a fight against machines. We honored them by holding the cool route where they fell. I know where I'll be. What about you two? I will be here with the Chief, where I belong. Should the fight reach us, we will take the blood owed for our fallen. If it comes to that. The defenses will hold. You called them peacekeepers, but the marshals I met at the embassy were warriors. Warriors, yes, but more. They renounced the clan that birthed them and pledged themselves to order and peace. They enforce my law. They settle disputes and stand for Tanakh in parley with other tribes. Without them, I cannot rule. I need a little more time. Fine.
This could be useful. Look at them all. They know a battle is coming. Regala control. Ready? Let's get this over with. Good. You'll find Decca at the north barricade with the rest of our defenders. Strike true as the ten. I'll see you when this is done.
if the battle's coming, face these machines, the trial could feel it in the air. Be martial, but such things Extra are not guards. meant to be easy. Hikaru Regala will come for the chief. This will Only be a heavy day. When. I can feel it. The spirit of the Tanakh that's found in the cool room. Sacred. I hear one of the Sky Clan it contestants has an injury. The Tanakh must be united under one leader, Hakaro. Today will demand a sharpened blade. We will the desert contestants score. look more flamboyant. We have no other choice. Mr. Cote, this of course. I'll see you at training later. Mr. Cote fixed his ego before coming here. Easterner. Didn't think the Sky Commander himself would be joining us today. If there's a chance my challengers will be facing Regala, it is only right their commander join in their fate. Or maybe you need to save face after what happened at the bulwark. Careful now. Sometimes sharp wits bring out sharp spears. I'd save my spear for Regala's troops, if I were you. Should be at the end of the stretch. Focus on the machines. Take them down, and Regala's forces become no different from our own. Yes, Chaplain. Watch each other's backs. Dismissed. Our soldiers are ready. They will defend the cool route from below, but from above. Not bad. Where did you get it? One of our squads ripped it off a fallen machine. The honor is yours. Regala may have her tricks, but you will show her our teeth. The cool root is upon us! Our struggle demands new blood! New leaders! Release the quarry! Challengers! Approach! Take down a machine shall be named Marshall. Remember the ten. Strike from the air as they did and seize your glory.
There. What is that? I don't know. Let's <laughs> go. 
Keep some extra on hand. This isn't finished! I'll be back with everything I have! And all who stand with Hakaro will be run red. At attention. You fought well. Proved yourself against enemies both metal and flesh. I name you all, Marshal. Your first order is to secure the arena from any remaining rebels. Go. I failed. I should have finished with Dala. But now she'll be back with more machines. Stronger than ever. I'll do what I can to help. No, you've done enough. Far more than our bargain called for. When we first met, you spoke of your true mission on which all depends. I wasn't certain if I believed you then. But I believe in you now. So leave me. And get to your task. What will you do? Tend to the wounds. What you need is there. Take it. Your deeds today will be remembered like those of the ten. below. 
this place. There. That console. Come on, Aether. Time to go home. Elizabeth Sobek, Alpha Prime. Master Override activated. Restoring either subordinate function to original code. Got it. Now to get this back to Gaia. be the vision that Chief Ikaro saw years ago. All of the visions are changed, and this one just... arrived. Please, Aloy. Come here. The visions throughout the grove are different now. And this one? It, it just appeared. Is this your doing? The visions have changed. That's the one that inspired Chief Hakaro. More testimony of the old ones. Hear now the words that reunited a people. Following the tragic events of the war, Anne Faraday, the chief architect of the reconciliation effort, addressed a nation in need of hope. If we look into the future, the lens of the recent past, our fears loom. Wars waged against machines, scarcity of food and water, Storms that drive us from our homes. But true courage means facing those fears with conviction instead of cynicism. Leading the peacekeeping effort with these brave men and women, these marshals of the new Southwest has strengthened my conviction. That when we are united, we can overcome any threat. Join me. Join us in that conviction. As we strive for a nation and a world without want or war. Reporting for duty, Commander. I'm coming with you. But Hikaru needs you. Because of you, he has new marshals. And a rallying cry the clans cannot ignore. So I will stand with you on your mission. Give whatever is left of my life. 
It is what I choose. How can I say no to that? So, there's someone who wants to join us. I need you to meet him in the foothills and guide him the rest of the way. Will do, Aloy. Go to the mountains, west of Plainsong. A friend of mine will meet you on the ascent. I'll join you when I can. A friend of yours? Should be interesting. All right. I need to get Aether back to Gaia. Seems like capturing it did something to the other holograms, too. Might be worth checking out. Concealed by mud and darkness, they laid control. their traps for their enemies. Your enemy is mine. Huh. Huh. Now more abroad, JTF-10 protected assets. Hey, Outland. You have an old world recording? This box was speaking with voices of the old ones. But now there's noise over them. Let me take a look. Where did you find this? We took it from an Asaram Delver. She was trying to steal it, and other artifacts from Tanakh territory. The others were going to bury it in the sand with her. But then I heard the voices. Well, the data here is badly corrupted, but... Delta Juliet 9, you are weapons free and cleared to engage the swarm. Good hunting. Copy that. We'll buy Zero Dawn the time you need. Delta Juliet 9, out. The voices of warriors from the past. And that Osiram wanted to sell them for shards. The bravery of the Ten should be remembered. I'm not sure what you mean by the Ten. These voices came from the final battle of the Old Ones. Another battle? I could learn more about it if I could find the other boxes. That Delver did say there might be more recordings to be found in the wreckage of ancient flying machines. She claimed she had a way to locate them. Yeah. The box with the voice data on it is emitting a locator signal. I could use it to find the others. If you do then, bring them back here. I will see to it that they're treated with proper respect. Whatever sacrifices were made by these ancient soldiers, we will honor them. I've already found a recording. I'll take any you find. Uh, let me give you something for it. These voices will be kept here. They will be remembered. Do you get many Osirum Delvers in Tanakh's territory? Fewer every time we catch them, but those thieving rats would do anything for the shards. There'll always be some who will risk coming here. Then what do you do with the ones you catch? Delvers spend their lives in the dust. So we bury them in it. Alive. Why do you want these recordings? Every battle teaches its soldiers. We should learn those lessons and honor those who fell. That is our way. 
If I find more of those recordings, I'll bring them back to you. This is Romeo requesting status update. Flight 41, you need to adjust your course to avoid the swarm. Can you respond? Over. <laughs> My focus can detect beacons from those recording devices. Should help me to find any others that are still out there. Storms, JTF soldiers used them for cover, crippling enemy supply lines. <laughs> JTF 10 in the mountainous regions of the hot zone. Trained to outlast, conditioned for any climate. JTF 10 were elite defenders in even the most remote mountain landscapes. After a day at the blood of the ten, Aloy, Regala denied the truth of the visions revealed. I doubt you have enough skin to mark all your deeds. We'll just have to remember them then. <laughs> well, thanks to you, the chief still lives, and hope remains. But that's not why I wanted to speak with you. I need a favor. A personal one. My grandson, Cavo. He was not counted among the dead, which means he must still be with Regala's remaining forces. He was taken prisoner? No. He joined them willingly. Like many young soldiers who seek to mark their skin with distinguished deeds. I must search for him. Convince him to come home. Chief Hikaro cannot spare any soldiers for this task, so my blade is alone in this. Unless you'd be willing to join me. I know it is much to ask after all you've done for us. But Cavo is the last of my blood. What made Cavo join Regala's rebellion? For some, Regala represents a chance of vengeance against the Karja. During the Red Raids, it wasn't easy to turn the clans back at Baron Light. Many wanted to pursue the Karja all the way to Meridian. So when Regala attacked the Embassy, they took it as a call to arms. Yes. But others, the young especially, <laughs> care only about the glory they think they'll earn by hunting an age-old enemy. And as for Cavo, it was probably a bit of both. And a youthful desire for a cause to get the blood burning. Nothing I said could stop him. So if Cabo didn't listen to you when he joined the rebels, what makes you think he will now? Cabo was too young to fight during the Red Raids. War was a stranger to him. But he must have experienced the suffering it brings by now. He will listen. He must. I just have to find him before it's too late. You said Cabo's your last living relative? Yes. Before Chief Ikaro, the clans warred constantly with each other. Every skirmish claimed another comrade. 
One by one, I buried my children. And then, their children. I'm sorry. I tried to vent my grief on the battlefield, but I never found comfort there. Only in the wisdom of the visions. And even so, I still couldn't prevent Cavo from following the trail of blood. If Cavo joined Regala's rebellion of his own accord, will Hikaru let him back into the tribe? The chief knows the value of mercy and the toll of unending bloodshed. It's the rest of the tribe I'm more concerned about. They won't quickly accept someone who betrayed them. Even with my support, it won't be easy. But you have to try. I'll help you find your grandson, if I can. Where do we start? A while back, our scouts reported Cavo's squad left one of Regala's outposts in the hills to the south. His squad never returned, but the scouts also spotted one of our own being held captive there. So we'll start at the outpost. If we free the prisoner, maybe they'll know where Cavo's squad went. Shall we head out? I have some other things to take care of first. I can meet you there. I'll wait for you on the hill crest southeast of the grove. We'll make our way to the outpost from there. Until then, strike true. Not in the field or relaxing at base. Joint Task Force 10 acted as one. Led by Colonel Edward De La Hoya, their bodies and weapons were always honed for battle. Meals, ink, bruises. These daredevils of the sky shared it all. Honor and strength. One mark is good enough to challenge the enduring. There's no way he'll earn the other two marks. He's going to try. And I hope I'm there to watch him get his ass kicked. Would it not do that? If a car row is to lead the tribe, we must prove that in battle. We should ask her. Champion, I fear we must lean on your strength and generosity again. Just tell it to her straight, Ducca. The tribe needs the arena. She's our only hope to getting it open again. You need the arena? But the cool route's over. That's true, but we also use the arena to boost the tribe's morale. We use it for training. Herd in machines so our soldiers can experience the glory of the kill in a controlled setting. Which, of course, boosts morale. But Chief Hikaru won't let us reopen the arena until the ballista protecting the field is repaired. We need it in case a machine runs amok, and it was damaged during the cool route. The parts we need aren't easy to find. I get it. You need me to hunt down some machines and grab the parts. We'd ask someone else, but every squad in the Grove is on alert. But the task is not without compensation, right, Kala? Of course. Once the arena is open again, I would be honored to invite you to compete. A wide variety of machines will be available. And I will award you prizes for victory. Not just from the arena, but also for medals won at hunting grounds. You'll be able to trade them for some of the tribe's very best gear. To fix the ballista, we'll need a sinew from a roller bag, along with some bristleback tusks. Both kinds of machines have been spotted near a campfire to the southeast. When you're done, bring the parts to me at the maw of the arena, on the northeast side of the grove. Okay, I'll see what I can do. One more thing, if you're going back into the wilds, I have another duty tied to our soldiers' morale. A regrettable one. Every Tanakh soldier carries a tag carved with their squad symbol. Rebels have been hoarding the tags of the soldiers they kill. You might find such tags at any enemy outpost. If you do, bring them to me. I'll make sure they're returned to the soldier squad mates and loved ones. Having confirmation sometimes soothes their grief. And there are bounties involved, if that matters to you. I've already found some of those tags. I don't have anything to pay you with here. Bring them to me at the Maw of the Arena when you can. Thank you, Champion. And please don't forget the parts for the Ballista.
this? Oh, uh, <laughs> you're not waving a hammer around, Aaron. Try a gentler touch. And my big sausage fingers don't really do gentle, okay? Bring it back. Trace the line. To your right. Other right. I just saw it. It's the one Aloy found up north. Gotcha. They call it a, a concussion beat party or something. Yeah, now that's music. Aloy! Erend, you're all better. And you're here. Varl said you might need some help after all, doing uh, complicated things. We still have much training to do, of course. One does not become hunter in a day. Each seed grows at a pace of its own. Doesn't mean it won't bloom. You should know your Tanakh friend arrived. Katalo. I heard their warriors drink people's blood. I want to sleep with one eye open. I think he's seen enough blood for a lifetime. I showed him to one of the rooms. He seems to appreciate the privacy. Uh, looks like you've got things under control. I should get this to Gaia. Right. We'll keep on training. Catch up as fast as we can. I'm seeing glyphs in my dreams already. Well, while you've been off gallivanting around, I've been working with Gaia to find out more about the land gods. So from where I'm standing, you're in need of some training. Come along. Uh... Oh, uh... Okay. Oh, and I delivered your message to Talana. She headed for that Asaram camp you two were looking for, to the southwest. The old ones created so many wonderful inventions to help others. Hey. Hey. A nice place. Well, it's not like I built it or anything. Right. Well, I can see why you, uh, why you had your doubts about bringing us along. It is a lot to take in. But, uh, don't worry. That's nothing I can't handle. Right. How are you settling in? Yeah, Varl's been helping me get the lay of the land. When he's not getting all tongue-tied. I don't know who makes him more nervous, that Gaia lady or our new Utaru friend. Well, what about the Vanguard? Aren't you supposed to be back east, ordering them around? I sent some of them back to Meridian with a message. I doubt Avad will mind me sticking around to help the savior of Meridian. I see Varl gave you a focus. Well, it doesn't look as you know, fashionable on me, but by the forge, the things I've been able to see. Granted, a lot of them are bad, you know, the old world ending and such. I'm still trying to wrap my head around most of it, but I never really understood how you were ever able to find my sister back in the Sundom. And now I do, sort of. It makes me feel like I could be useful, you know? It takes some time, but... yeah. I guess you know what we're up against by now. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. When Varl first told me those bastards come from the stars, I thought he'd eaten too many of those medicinal berries. Yeah, but I've gotten used to seeing impossible things, thanks to you. I just wish they weren't always trying to kill us. Yeah, you and me both. So, you've met our new Tanakh friend. He's, uh, quiet. I thought his people were supposed to be bloodthirsty maniacs. You shouldn't believe everything you hear. Yeah. Well, I guess if you trust him, so do I. So, Talana came by the base? Yeah, more like rushed through. I was hoping she'd stay for a drink at least. Only Karja I've ever met who's any fun. But it seemed like she had more pressing matters to attend to. I have to go. I guess it's back to reading. Wow, this place is starting to come alive. Yeah, 
and Gaia placed all the data she got from your focus into that archive room. With the focuses you gave us, we'll be able to access it at our own pace. You know, learn and train. And if you need us, we'll be there to fight at your side. Got it. Thanks, Paul. Looks like I was wrong about the Zeniths. Their ship didn't explode on its way to Sirius like everyone thought. And we saw how they lied about creating a better future at their launch facility. Guess they lied about what happened to their ship, too. But still, the tribe settling amongst the stars. I couldn't put a single dent in their shields, Varl. That one Zenith almost killed me. That didn't stop you from resurrecting Gaia. Won't stop us from using Hephaestus against them. Let's hope that's enough. How's, uh, training with Zell? You know we really are training. Mostly. Look, she reads glyphs faster than I can already. I'd be a fool to refuse her help. Of course. You guys reading something over there? We just finished going through all the logs you collected back in Nora territory. And All Mother Mountain. It's hard to imagine that my ancestors were trapped inside. Without the knowledge from Apollo to guide them. Thanks to Ted Farrow. Yeah. I wonder how it must have felt when they were finally free. The world must have seemed so beautiful. Not to mention terrifying. They weren't much more than kids. And they became an entire tribe. I'm guessing you've spoken with Catalo? I wanted to pay my respects for those who fell when we were ambushed at the embassy. I told him I'd never seen anyone throw themselves at a machine like he did. He said a warrior shouldn't be praised for fulfilling their duty. <laughs> for a second I thought I was talking to my mother. Never thought a Tanakh and a Nora warchief could have so much in common. I'm guessing Talana didn't stay for long? 